What's going on, nerds? Welcome back to Comic Book Nerd Nation, episode number 85. I'm Fox 2. We got the whole crew gathered for a special episode today. We got Pirate. What's going on, guys? Tover. It appears Pirate has the clap. <laughs> and the whole Evan <laughs> Brian. Uh, if Pirate was a... Ro- if Pirate was a T-Rex, yeah, was what? Was what? What was what? What was the what? T-Rex. <laughs> okay, so, uh, <laughs> alright, this is going to be a little bit different episode this week. We're not going to talk about what we've been reading. We're not going to do a tabletop game of the week. Um, this was a huge week in news, obviously, with um, San Diego Comic-Con over the, the past weekend. Tons and tons of stuff was announced. I'm sure we won't even come close to talking about all of it. So we're going to talk about the stuff that we want to talk about, just like we normally do. So but here with our uh, news special report intro. Yep. Oh, so wait. Pirate. So Pirate guys, now has the special uh, intro for the Comic Con 2015 special news episode. Okay. Do you want to hear it on an electric bass unplugged, or do you want to hear it on a mandolin? A mandolin. mandolin. Definitely, yeah. Mandalorian? <laughs> a Mandalorian mandolin. <laughs> is he going to say Mandalorian mandolin? He's going to play Mandalorian. This is the longest intro to a news segment ever. <laughs> Luckily, in, in he was no, ready to in go. no broadcast ever filmed before did you have to wait on the fucking musical jingle guy to get his instrument. Well, normally, out. I just do something stupid like blah, 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 but y'all wanted something stupid. So this is I the didn't... intro to the intro. So yeah, no I'd kidding. Just... All right, and the musical intro. <laughs> <laughs> right, right up until the the part where you sexy whispered oh, San going. Diego Comic Con in the fucking <laughs> still going. God, right up until you whispered in the mind. microphone, it sounded like something out of the fucking Into the Wild movie. So, all uh, right, well, let's jump right into it and let's start. Talking. <laughs> that is really long or really loud, and uh, yeah, longest <laughs> intro ever. <laughs> Okay. Did, did all Eddie of... Van Halen solo on it too? No. A little eruption? Uh, did all of you guys see the Suicide Squad close. trailer? Yep. Hate it. Yes. Yep. Whoa, what? whoa, whoa. Okay, let's start with Brian. <laughs> Pretty strong feelings already right yeah, out of the gate. Let's start with Brian. Clearly, he has some uh, animosity towards this film. It's DC. Of course he does. Yeah, I mean. More like Poop just, Squad. <laughs> yeah. Why do, you, why do you hate it other than the fact that it's DC? Let's start there. Well, I don't like Will Smith. I feel like he's already yeah, he's like stupid Marvel in that, tra- boy. that trailer. No, I just hate. I don't like Will Smith. <laughs> I don't like his acting anymore. He was good as a Fresh Prince, but beyond that, he's just like, why don't we call the aliens from the heavens and invade our bodies? He probably had to have a Scientology meeting after playing Deadshot. I wonder, I wonder what his e machine was. Yeah. yeah, he's a Scientologist. Is that, your really? only, oh. is that your only problem with the whole trailer? No, is I just Will Smith? I don't, I don't like Will Smith in that role. It just, from what I've seen in the trailer, it just was, uh, I don't know, it just seemed like every other badass role he plays. It's like, it's like his character from Bad Boys grew up. It was like... Yeah, it was like Independence Day, like the one scene where he's like, let's do this, and he just starts like swaggering down the street. It was like, I think I saw that, like, they took that shot straight out of Independence Day. I liked <laughs> the trailer. I thought, what we- I, I liked it overall, but I thought, yeah, like, I, I agree. I think Will Smith, Will Smith was definitely a negative to, to the trailer. Like, I don't, I don't think he's going to be good in that role. I, I think that will definitely subtract from the movie as a whole, but. Depending on how big of a part he plays in the movie, I mean, I would assume it's fairly large. I guess it just depends on how it comes out, if that'll totally ruin the movie. But I thought the trailer looked pretty fucking good. And surprisingly enough, I I didn't hate Jared Leto's Joker. Like, it didn't... It it wasn't awful. I still don't like the thug look, but, like, the short little bit of acting we got... To see from him, it's pretty decent. It looked promising. He reminds me of Ledger's 
Joker. Yeah. Except for the look, which right. they've been saying they're going away from that. That's another reason I didn't like the trailer because his like demeanor and his like speech seems like like they keep on saying, "Oh, this is a whole new Joker." Jared Little takes a completely different and stuff like that. And he, he just like if I close my eyes, I could see um, Heath Ledger's Joker. Yeah, but I don't think you can take away from the movie based on the fact that somebody else did the, the same character in another movie so well that it makes you think about that. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't think you can hold Heath Ledger having done an amazing job as Joker. I don't think you can hold that against this movie. Like, I, I thought across the board everything looked pretty good. Um, the only other thing that I really didn't care for too much was Harley Quinn's voice. Didn't it? Just, yeah. It didn't sound Harley Quinn to me. She reminded me of a ghetto thug chick, like Joker's bottom bitch. <laughs> See, I didn't. I don't, I don't know that I got that out of it. But I, normally, like every time you hear Harley Quinn in everything, everything that she's been in, whether it's the video games, the cartoons, she uh, needs more of like a Jersey sneer. Yes, you know? yes, With it has to be high pitched and squeaky and yeah, and ditzy. She has yeah. to. It just didn't didn't sound like what we've come to know as Harley Quinn. What would they? What did you think of it, Pirate? You haven't chimed in yet on this. Did you watch um, it? Yeah, I watched it a few times. Um, I think that I, well, I have to agree with the panel on this one. I don't. I'm not a big fan of Will Smith playing uh, Deadshot. Um, I felt that his character is exactly like you guys said. Pretty much, his acting is the same, over the top from Bad Boys feel. Um, Harley Quinn. I really didn't have a problem with Harley Quinn. I don't think because I don't think it really had enough of her voice in it. Like, there was some scenes that I thought she was going to say something Harley Quinn-esque, I guess you could say, but she didn't. But the Joker scene, I'm still kind of 50-50 on that one. I'm going to I'm gonna reserve my, 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 uh, my thoughts on that one because I don't know. Because I don't like the look. I've known that coming in to it because he looks like an... He just... It just I hate the way it looks. So I'm just gonna say that for later on till we get maybe a better trailer or to the movie. But um, the one thing I did like about the movie was the Batman scene. That's what I was just getting ready to ask you. Harley Quinn or Harley Whoa. Quinn? Yeah, like I did like that scene because it showed Batman in the trailer. Whether it's gonna be like a snippet and that's all we're gonna see. No, is I think he's gonna be a pretty big trailer. part of it. I do. I, I don't know, but I hope that. And the, the dude that had the Batman mask on, like, mocking him, like, I'm just wondering what this that's going to pull into. But, um, yeah, I, I I don't think it was the best trailer released, especially for how much hype that it's been getting. But, um, I'm, I mean, overall, I'm going to hold some reservations about my entire... They, they also don't focus on enough of the other characters. It seems no, like they it's don't. just... Oh, they're very much playing on Harley and... Deadshot yeah. and then yeah. Joker, but I mean, even the even the background music throughout the whole trailer was the whole uh, you know I started a joke that got the whole world laughing, blah blah blah, you know things. So I mean, like they're clearly playing up the 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 Joker laughing that that you know that aspect of it. But I don't know, like I had some critiques of it, but honestly, the trailer made me a lot more excited about it than I was before. Like before, it looked kind of. I was like, just reading about it, I was like, oh, this is going to be so bad. But by the time the trailer was over, I was like, that I'm kind of excited about that. I was smiling, I'm like, that looks like it could be interesting. I agree. I kind of was, I was very it's gonna skeptical. Be, going it's going to be fun it. in a destructive chaos yeah, kind of way. Yeah, you know? I, I, I was very skeptical going in, but then there was enough good stuff that looked like it was pulled off pretty well in the trailer that that made me think that, this could be a very watchable movie. While it might not be as good as like the Avengers or Winter Soldier or something of that like top echelon caliber, I think that it's going to come in much higher than like a, a, a Green Lantern or or a, a Batman and Robin or something crazy like that. It's, you know, it's you, not hard to do. Well, right, but I'm just saying like I think it's going to be in the upper. Well. We got to take into consideration too, though, that DC with this movie and with Batman v Superman, 
these are all essentially tie-in movies. So mm-hmm. going to be they're they're going to be there's going to be continuity between all these other movies by all these different directors and all these writers. So my thing is when I'm watching this, I'm like, how is this going to tie into anything else going on? And granted, it's impossible to do from a three minute, you know, right trailer. But it, that's what's going in my mind. Like, okay, who and what is going to roll into the next movies or maybe be a villain in the next movie? I, I mean, I don't know, but that's what I kept thinking. From I didn't feel like I could hmm. get anything from that other than seeing Batman in it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't. Yeah, from that perspective we're obviously going to have to wait and see right. how they develop the whole universe and and everything because they are starting not completely fresh but you know they're just kind of moving into this development of uh of um the universe the cinematic universe so okay before we move on to the next thing let, let's give let's give this a rating because we we have quite a few trailers to discuss actually today so we'll start with brian out of one to ten scale what would you score this? Ten being best, one being absolute poop. I'll give it a five. Give it a five. Okay, so you know that's not as bad as what I thought you were gonna say based on your initial reaction. Five is that's mediocre. I mean, also I hate these movies so much, but I uh, I like to let everybody out there know that I will be contributing to the millions of dollars they'll be making on opening weekend because I do want to see it first so I can have a fair judgment when we all talk about it. Absolutely. I understand that. Well, Topher, 1 to 10, 10 being best, 1 being worst. What do you rate that trailer? 6.5. Okay. All right. So slightly above mediocre. Um, Almost average. I, I thought it was better than average. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll round up to seven because I mean, like, I didn't think it was like amazing, okay. but like, I thought it was. It, it looked good. You know, it was it was solid good. It just wasn't like it didn't there wasn't blow anything your mind. that. Yeah. I got you. Okay. What about you, pirate? Um, I'm going to give it a six only because there was a scene with Batman in it. Oh. Uh, but I'm. Like and, and the reason what would you give was, it if it didn't have if it didn't have I, Batman? I'd give it a straight five because right. if somebody who's not a comic book fan watched that trailer, what do they take from it? If if somebody who didn't know anything about comic books, what would you what would you? You'd take have a hard time with it. You'd have a hard yeah. time with it. For so you had the the scenes with Waller in there, kind of explaining it. You okay, know, you so got you these... got a team of fucking Lee Harvey Oswalds. What I got from the Waller scene is I want steak. Yeah, exactly. right. That was a nice I look so prime. good. Um, but, I yeah. would, I would say, I would give this one. I, I'm going to go with Chris on this one. I'm going to give it a seven. I think it was, it was good. It wasn't, it, it wasn't fantastic. There were some things that I didn't like. The Will Smith stuff. The uh, Harley Quinn's voice kind of threw me off a little bit. But I really did like. I liked the Batman stuff, and I really liked the Joker stuff. I did. It, I thought that. I thought it was good. You could tell that he really, really is trying to do a good Joker, which I don't think is easy to do. I really don't. I think it's easy to ham that role up and like just completely fuck it up like terribly. So, you know, I would say seven creeping up on seven five almost. Yeah, because I mean, it, it it did what a trailer's supposed to do. Like, it didn't. There was nothing about that movie that made me think, "Oh, this is gonna suck." Um, they they teased, you know, they kind of set up the story. They explained the point, you know, a, a little bit. They said, you know, they kind of gave you a glimpse of several of the characters, uh, a little bit of the acting I mean, flavor. Three of the characters. Well, I mean, they sh- I said they showed a lot of the characters, and then they and then I was going on to say that they give you a glimpse of, you know, the personalities of a few of them, you know, you Harley, Dent, Shot, and Joker. Is... But but it did what a trailer is supposed to do, which got me to want to see the movie. Yeah. So, I mean, in this... that regard, I'd say it was a good trailer. I mean, you have to remember too, this is the first trailer, and the mm-hmm. way that the way that it works anymore is you get about three. And each one progressively reveals more characters and a little bit more of what the plot is going to be about and a little bit more what the action is going to kind of depict. So this being the first, this is comparable to like that first Superman v, or Batman v Superman trailer that we saw. Or, well, but you know, in all fairness, we're only gauging this trailer. Like, you know, I mean, right. we're not yes, gauging the movie. Yes, you can't gauge the whole movie as a whole, obviously, right. Yeah. But I, th- I think it was a good 
first trailer. If you keep in mind that it's a first trailer, I think it was really solid. Like like Topher said, it's it it gets you interested. At the very least, I feel like it it makes all of us here want to see the next trailer for sure. So let's move on to the next one. Let's talk about. Um, let's just jump right in. Let's not bury the lead. Uh, this was one of the big ones. Bat me, Batman v Superman. You see bat meat? Uh, like yeah. you say bat meat. <laughs> bat me. Batman with uh, Superman. Batman v <laughs> Superman. I think I'll, the stick in Suicide I'll, Squad look good. Check out that piece of bat meat, Ben yeah, Affleck. Right. I <laughs> I liked this trailer. I thought it was I thought it was good. That chick's um, list drove me nuts. I I really like. I, lo- I really do like the bat suit that they went with. I think the Batmobile looks fucking awesome. Um, one of the highlights for me, I don't know if you guys picked it out, but the part where it shows the Robin suit in the glass case with the, the Joker's writing on it, almost like they're alluding to the fact that maybe they're going to include Jason Todd getting killed by having been killed by, uh, by the Joker. I'm pretty um, sure they've already said they're doing that. I don't. I don't think I've read that anymore. Yeah, because yeah, they. The, well, they, yeah. I think we talked about on previous episodes. I read in a script, or not read in a script, but read rumors of a script. Oh, that, okay. I see. I, I never. Know. I didn't read any of the. I didn't read any of that stuff, but. Um, I think it looks really, really good. For me, the stuff that I didn't really care for was kind of some of the Superman scenes, actually. Um, where they're kind of like almost idolizing him in a religious fashion. I didn't, just like the first trailer, I didn't really care for that too much. I think they overplayed it in this trailer. And the other thing I didn't really care for was every scene that they show Bruce Wayne in, not Batman, he looks really like disgruntled, like overly angry. And like, I get that that's kind of the premise of the movie is that Batman's pissed at Superman, um, but like if you watch it again and just pay attention to the Bruce Wayne parts, he looks everything like they don't show any other emotions out of that character. And I get it's just a trailer; it's probably more in depth than that. But um, some of the stuff well, I mean, that I surprisingly liked, I liked the Wonder Woman stuff in there. I thought it was pretty good. A small bit of it, yeah. yeah. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, I I had the complete opposite reaction to those parts. Um, you've got a movie. The, you've got a movie called Batman v Superman, and other than the news releases and people talking about it online and stuff, watching that, you know, they're like, even the narration is Bruce Wayne talking about how, you know, there's this this guy out there with the power of a god practically who can just destroy the world if he saw fit, and and Bruce Wayne needs to destroy him. And then they're like, you know, there's this big buildup, you know, between the two of them. And then there's Wonder Woman suddenly dashing around doing her own. She's like, wait, wait a minute, but what, what about her? What is, which side is she on? Does Bruce need to take her out too? Because what, why is this about the two of the, I, like, I, I thought the Wonder Woman scenes were the most nonsensical parts of it. They were, well, it, they, yeah, they didn't, it, it didn't sense. fit. They like didn't it, look it, cool. it they, I mean, sure, they visually they look cool, and if you know you had been told that Wonder Woman was in this, you know, ahead of time, like we all knew, you know, then like obviously we know she's in the movie, but that didn't really say anything. Like, I don't get what her role in this movie is. I'm even more confused about it now than I was before. You know, like I thought it was just going to be like maybe a cameo, set it up, you know, something like that. Um, they they put her a little bit more in the forefront right after talking about how. You know, Batman's not comfortable with somebody like Superman existing, and then they're like, "Oh yeah, and there's also this person too, but we're not going to talk about that." Okay, yeah. that that seemed confusing. Mm-hmm. Plus, if you didn't know that was Wonder Woman, I don't know that you'd figure it out. You know, like the it, her suit is very brown. You know, like yeah. I mean, we obviously all know that she's in this movie and that that's her, but to the the average moviegoer who doesn't necessarily follow the the news and everything, if they saw that trailer, they would have no idea who that is, and it would just look really out of place in, in that in that trailer. I mean, it, I'm sure, I hope anyway, that it makes perfect sense in, in the movie itself, but in the trailer, it was just like, what the hell is this? It just seemed out of, it just, it seemed random, and it didn't seem to fit with the rest of the trailer. You know? My other complaints about it were 
Oh, sorry. Oh, Did no, go, go ahead. That? Well, I was going to... It wasn't about that, but I, it just made me think about the one other thing that I didn't mention that I did not like, which was fucking uh, Lex Luthor's, like, 1990s grunge rock wig. I was going to say, the other things that, that I didn't... My other criticisms of it were Lex Luthor seemed a little odd. I mean, I don't, I don't read a ton of, of Superman comics. I, I've never really been a huge Superman fan, so I don't really know all about Lex Luthor's mannerisms and, and how he acts, but Not he bad. seemed a bit off to me in the trailer. Um, it didn't seem like the Lex Luthor I would have expected. Um, and then... Uh, the whole red, the red capes are coming thing where he yeah. said that was like, that was it little totally little sounded odd. like a fucking pedophile. Like, total pedo bear, <laughs> like, <laughs> the red capes are coming. Like so he's like he's getting ready to molest Little Red Riding Hood or something. And then I was I was really really super super excited and happy to see that it looks like we're gonna get yet another glimpse of Batman's parents getting shot with him as a child. <laughs> yes, yes, we are gonna. Get, um, it looks like we're gonna yeah. see that again. Not. Um, so and Thomas and Martha. There's uh, old yeah. Tom and Martha making a cameo again. <laughs> oh. Watch in that alley every time. Yeah, Watch. Damn, they get they get caught every alley. time. You think they don't would have learned that alley? alley. Damn. If you're gonna watch Zorro, don't walk down an alley. Don't afterwards. go down it's the historical, alley. Historical, right, historical. Right up under that fucking light post, too. Son of a and bitch. <laughs> and you had to wear pearls and walk the down pearls. that motherfucking pearls. pearls. You know, in every cinematic like representation of that, I think that there were like bloody pearls falling to concrete. Always wet concrete, too. Never dry concrete. Always, like, a shiny, glistening, wet concrete. Well, you can't have a dry pearl necklace. She wore a pearl necklace. <laughs> I thought, I thought, dude, I, I, totally thought, I totally thought he was going to bust out into, like, a porno theme song. Like, <laughs> that was ZZ Top, dude. Uh, all right, pearl necklace. Brian, you're so, being awful quiet. Let's move down the line. Over there. Let's well, I, I, I basically agree with everybody's like down comments. I mean, I don't, I don't like the Lex Luthor at all. He's, he's just like he's like a little wimpy kid. It's like he should be being like Batman and Superman should be over there poking him and stuff. I mean, do you think? Like, them I mean, do you think Lex Luthor should be like a huge physical specimen? I don't think he's not think a that, huge physical specimen, but he's not like a little tiny. I'm not expecting child. a wiry hippie teenager look. Yeah, I'm no, expecting, that, like, I mean, I think that it would be a lot better if they didn't have that fucking a, wig on him. He's, I'm he's expecting a, a bald businessman. His, yes, his voice no doesn't. Matter what his physical yeah, his, build is, his voice doesn't shudder. His like. He doesn't like seem unsure of himself, or like it, like alienated from society. I mean, we didn't get, we never got a big represent, a big hulking representation of Lex Luthor. We had Gene uh, Hackman. Yeah, we had Gene, Gene Hack Hackman, homie. Come on, don't. What are you talking about? We never yeah. had a big. Uh, it's not like on. Arnold. Like I'm Lex Luthor. Dude, Gene Hackman was. I thought Gene Hackman was a good Lex Luthor. But what's his name would have been good also if they didn't give him a shitty script. Who? Um, what's his uh, name? Kevin Spacey. Oh, yeah, Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey, Spacey. Yeah. Yeah. Kevin Spacey yeah. was a good one. Um, Wonder Woman still seems like I agree with what Chris says like they just throw her in there like what what's the point? She's like doing her pose. You know who they should have got for they you know who they should have went with for fucking uh, Lex Luthor is uh, the the dude from um, Breaking Bad. Oh yeah, but they never asked him. He Fuck, said that would have been all. He would have been. been so he would have been good. good. Brian Cranston. Yes. yes, I would have liked that movie so good. more. Um, what or Patrick Stewart. You get like a, a bald guy to play a comic book character. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that looks like he's like thirty when he's like sixty. But um, Dude, I didn't Patrick like. Patrick Stewart is definitely older than sixty. The Superman. <laughs> he's definitely, he's like ninety or some shit. No, he's uh, well. Actually, no, he's not that old. He's but um, he looks the same age as he's been for the past thirty years, so it doesn't matter how yeah, old he shit. is. It's true. He still looks the same. He is seventy-five. Damn. Oh, today's his birthday. Happy birthday, yeah. Sir Patrick Stewart. <laughs> um, 
The Superman stuff bores me. I mean, it's dark. It just doesn't scream Superman. I don't like the 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 Nazi soldiers they have going on with the S on their sleeves. And there's this one point in the trailer where it's like super Batman's fighting them, but he's got like he's got the chest piece and the cowl on, but he's wearing like a duster and like oh yeah pants and goggles on his head i'm i don't i don't understand it was what, like fallout was, meets batman yeah. like, it, when yeah. does batman ever need to change his outfits really he does wear like about three or four different outfits in this in this trailer yeah think of it. i mean it's just doesn't it doesn't catch me i just i'm going to again i'm going to see it i'm going to add to the opening box office blowout but it's like i'm not really excited for it what do you think, Pirate? Um, well, I like I like the fact that that showed flashbacks to um, Tom and Martha. No, <laughs> no the Batman, or not the Batman, but the um, uh, Superman, Superman and Zod Man fight. Steel movie. Yeah. yeah, and it shows what Bruce Wayne was doing in it and why he's mad because you know Wayne Financial was taken out during that and people died, but. There's some things that I'm kind of like the Wonder Woman thing. It looked cool when it showed it. Like, oh, wow, she's got real powers this time. But at the same time, it was like, why did it show that? If they hadn't narrated the way they did, if they just showed scenes, it would have been fine. But the fact that, like, they set the story up and, you know, with the narration the way they did and then put her in, it just seemed like it didn't fit. She was basically put in there like every other female has been put in in a James Bond trailer. Like, hot chick, hot car, and then she does something cool. You know what I mean? And that's all you see in any James Bond trailer of the that heroiness or whatever, the James Bond side piece. But The whore? Oh, the whore. <laughs> the whore of Bond. But I don't know. I mean, it's it was kind of, you know, it was the second trailer that we've seen of the movie. Um, there was some things that I had questions about, you know, like with the dust cover that Brian was talking about. Like, it looked like he was in a post-apocalyptic scene coming out of a sewer hatch. Yeah. And then fighting a bunch of people. I'm kind of curious to see what that's all about. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to kind of play... Well, I don't have to play borderline on this one. I'm still going to... I'm still going to watch it. I mean, regardless. Of course you are. It's... I don't know. I, I, there's things I liked about it and things that I thought was confusing. Like Lex Luthor, I'm going to be honest. He's awful. I, I actually <laughs> kind of like the what, what he said. Maybe not how he said it, but I like the word. Uh, I like the way he portrayed things. I hated that fucking senator's voice. That chick, she had like, she talked like, uh, like, as she, I, I can't even I can't even replicate it, dude. It just that bitch drove me nuts. Like the whole trailer that Senator talking, where she had like this crazy like lisp talking out the side of her mouth. I couldn't take it. But yeah, other than her, everything was fine. Alright, let's run down the line. Brian, one to ten, ten being best. What do you give this trailer? Just as I'm gonna give it the same rating I gave um Suicide Squad. I give it a five. Okay. Alright, fair enough. Topher, one to ten. Where do you where do you put this one? I'm gonna give it a four, which seems harsh, but I thought it was below average. I just I didn't think I didn't think it was better than the first one. I some friends of mine were talking about it and said they 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 liked this one and thought it was a lot better. But to me, like I got excited about the last trailer. Yeah. This one, I was like, oh, this this actually took it down a notch for me. Like. I mean, I'm obviously going to go still see it. I'm still excited for the movie, but, like, this trailer, it's like if they, if they, it didn't feel like they could get a theme together for the trailer and stick to it. So if they can't do that for, you know, a minute and a half trailer, are they going to be able to do it for an hour and a half movie? Fair enough. Pirate? Um, I'm going to go a little higher with this one than I did with the 6 before, but I'm going to go with uh, I'm going to go with like a 6.5. I'm going to go with a 7 on this one. Okay. Because it's the second trailer. It, it's showing a little bit more about Batman this time than Superman. So, it's playing it's playing the other side of the coin for the time being. So, I'm going to give it a 7. I'm going to give this one I'm going to give this one a 6. 
just because I didn't like I didn't like the things that they chose to show about Bruce Wayne or involving Bruce Wayne. Um, I don't think there's any need for them to do a flashback to Martha and Tom's death. I think that's just they don't need to do it in the movie. They really don't need to do it in the fucking trailer. Yeah, that's just a beating a, a, a fucking drum that has been beat to shit already. Um, and I really, really despise how Lex Luthor looks. I'm, I'm on board with what Pirate said. I don't mind so much what he's saying, but it's more how he's saying it and how he's presenting himself and, and that I just don't, I don't like it. I don't. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go with a six on this one. It's still just so dark too. It like is very, very this, dark. This, I, I get that it's Batman v Superman. You know, they're fighting each other. They're angry. They're pissed. But you know, like DC's whole like grim and dark and gritty thing, like uh, it's starting to wear on me. You know, like like why uh, a friend of mine pointed out, you know, the um, the Arrow and Flash crossover episodes. And how you can have serious stuff done with some moments of levity, and and you know, and have it still be fun, even though there might be some really you know bad shit going on, and and this movie lacks that. Like, this is supposed to be that you know the tag the the. the tagline is dawn of justice you know this is supposed to be how the justice league gets together the justice league is this you know bright well that's shining not example been, of superheroes that's not necessarily been said that's just the title nobody no, has okay, come out I, and said I'm not this saying, is the beginning of the justice league that's uh, just it, simply it could just be batman is trying to bring superman to justice that but could be seriously, all this movie is. okay, they're part of the Justice League, and you're going to put the three main cre- uh, creatures, the three main characters of the Justice League in a movie, call it Dawn of Justice, and and somebody's supposed to well, say that no, no, it has nothing to do with Justice League. Well, maybe but it's like, dark this, before there's justice. Yeah, it's darkest before the dawn, and yeah, you know, like I, I, don't I just know. like I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm all I'm saying there's is some wiggle room there. I and I'm aware of that, but all I'm saying is like there is no sense of like of fun and and triumph in this movie it's all about darkness and death and revenge and, and i'm sure that they're going to kiss and make up by the end you know and they're going to realize that they're on the same team and you know like obviously like you know this is the big moment the meeting of them you know and whether you know i i, I don't think they're going to found the justice league in this movie i i, I don't no, think that not. at all but, I, but you know obviously they're putting the characters together and out of this eventually will come the justice league so what? you know it's like but just I don't know. There's, there's, it's just so freaking dark and dismal, and it's like, it's like you know, we should be celebrating, you know, this in the end. Like, give us something fun well, to cheer. Again, for. remember, like you said before, we can't judge the movie. We can only judge the trailer. So there's liable to be, we don't know. There could be a lot well, of stuff that is, isn't dark and dismal and and things. We just don't know yet. There's a bunch that's been written on it that. <laughs> trying to squeeze in here for the like, past three seconds but no there's been a lot that's been written on it saying that Ben Affleck said that you know this movie is not about bright superheroes it's about a superhero being um, being brought to like being able to be seen justice. what his actions well no not justice but like you know, all everybody wants to have like all these big battles you know what I mean and like all these buildings and this big scene but there's actually people in those buildings, and that's what people need to be held accountable for is, yeah, you can have these great big scenes of battles and fights and stuff like that, and every time you see, like, you know, Godzilla and Mothra fighting, you know, in the old bit Trying movies. to bring the realism to oh, it. Yeah, it adds a gravity to the situation. It, yeah, it brings it back to it to where, like, look, there's people in those buildings, and people do die in these mecha, uh, epic battles. You know what I mean? Well, that's what actually... Actually, if you anybody read the newspaper Bruce Wayne is holding in the trailer, only 12 people died when Wayne Tower crashed to the ground. Well, regardless, that's 12 people. I mean, yeah, only 12. Yeah. You, I mean, if you say only 12, but if you know five of them or one of them, that's a big number to you. 
Yeah, I agree. I mean, I, I see like, where you're coming from. I, I see where you're coming from. I do I do get a sense of when I read about this and, and look at the press releases and watch the trailers, I do think that that's definitely the direction they're trying to head um, as a whole production. They're trying to add some gravity to those battles to make it hit Superman don't more. need no gravity. <laughs> all right uh let's let's move on to the next one let's talk about the deadpool trailer do you want my uh, number now yeah i think <laughs> our number brian, yeah. brian let's 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 hear what you got to say it was everything we could have wished for that he had a mouth he didn't teleport and have baraka claws i think those are the few main things <laughs> that we can talk about right here right now um <laughs> It was wisecracking. He in the trailer he broke the fourth wall. Um it was Deadpool. It was absolutely Deadpool. It was everything you could wish for plus. What I mean you... Yeah, it was fucking phenomenal. What do you think, Pirate? Let's go to you second on this one. I, I mean I tried to copy the fucking the the uh the uh, the trailer and upload it to like but, UPorn because it was that great. I was like, this is amazing. Everyone should masturbate to this video at this moment right now in time. Like, it was it was hands down. Like there was the puns that he made about previous movies and oh, you know some of the, the shit fact, he said. The, the fact that like. <clears throat> I mean, like like Brian said, he broke the fourth wall. He talks to the camera in it, you know, just like when you're reading the panels of the books. It's – if this movie is half as good as that trailer, it will be probably the best comic book movie to come out in 2016. Oh, that's a big – Damn, that's a that's shots a fired. That is shots yeah. fired from yeah. pirate. And the fucked up part is, it's a fucking Fox movie. Holy Christ. shit! What? <laughs> How could they do this? They go from Fantastic Four to that. I agree that's with exactly, them. Exactly, dude. Like it's you're, like, oh, oh my god, shit! You're gonna could, you're gonna put this I, over could, over Civil it, War. It could be. Yeah. I mean, they it's done so well. I mean, this been Ryan Reynolds has been preaching he wanted to make a Deadpool movie since maybe even before he played take a dump on my face pool <laughs> I, I thought it was hilarious I thought it was fun it was lighthearted, but it carried those serious moments um, like you said before Topher when you were talking about the other movie or uh, other trailer that it had a lightheartedness feel to it even when it had those those serious moments where it, it where they're trying to illustrate the fact that death is a real thing and um, people are vulnerable. There, there was a, there was a lighthearted feel to it and he was always cracking jokes. Um, the shit, it was Colossus, right? That he saw on the yeah. bridge, yeah. like calling him a what, stainless steel or a chrome, chrome faced cum guzzler. Chrome. No, uh, chrome, chrome dome cob gobbler, cock gobbler, cock gobbler, cob gobbler. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, the part towards the end where he's sitting across the table from from the guy, and they're talking about what he looks like, and the guy's like, "What he, he said something?" Uh, Freddy, Kr <laughs> Freddy, he looked Kruger like Freddy Krueger, Facebook, Utah. a topographical map of Utah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what? <laughs> the fucking the 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 one liners in this movie are going to be just absolutely off the charts. Oh, people are going to be you're gonna have to, You're going to have to go see it multiple times to be able to hear the rest of the movie because people yeah, are going to be laughing so it. hard that you won't hear the line after each joke. Yeah, yeah it'll, it'll be... I, Man, I don't know that I'm willing to say that it's going to be the best movie of 2016 or comic book movie of 2016, but it is going to be right there in the because I, I let me clarify my statement. I'm it will not probably a be the Deadpool most fun fan. movie. Of I don't wa I don't read Deadpool at all. I've read maybe five comic books of Deadpool. I just don't. I don't for whatever reason. I don't get into it. It's just not. It's not my thing. But this movie looks fucking fun. Just like Guardians of the Galaxy was fun. This one looks fun, but on an adult level, and the kind of c comedy that they're going for uh, is is. If you're a fan of this podcast, you know it's right up our alley. Like this is fucking Fuck yeah. perfect for us. Um, God, I can't wait. This is I can't wait to see this movie. I can't. 
What do you, Topher? I mean, as if we need to ask you, what did you think of it? I I thought it looked really good. Um, I mean, Ryan Reynolds is is perfect for this role. Um, you know, like I I don't know. I'm excited. They they've got a lot of things you know about the character. They're they're doing the whole Weapon X program thing. You know, they're they're talking about his cancer. Like you've got the uh, you've got Deadpool unmasked with you know with the the horrible you know, scarring and everything. I mean, like. They're they're trying to do this character the most legitimate way, you know, and stay completely true to the comics. They've got Blind Al in the movie, you know, like uh, you know some of the other characters from from you know supporting cast. You know, I, I it it looks really good. I was actually really surprised. I mean, I knew they I knew it was rated R, um, you know, but I mean it's it's a Deadpool movie. There's going to be some some over the top extreme violence. And, you know, him not giving a fuck about it, you know, <laughs> like, you know, he'll take a severed head and shove his hand up in it and make the jaw move like he does shit like that. And you can't, you can't display that level of violence with that level of irreverent without getting an R rating. So, I mean, I, I knew it was going to be, you know, I, I, it made perfect sense that the movie was going to be rated that way, but I really wasn't expecting the language. I'll be honest, when he just starts, like, going off, like, cussing, and, oh, my God, I was like, holy shit, they're doing this. This is it's gonna be this awesome. is crazy. They, they're they taking it to a whole other level that I did not expect, and, and it, it's going to be... It will probably be... I, I don't know if it's going to be the best movie because I'm super looking forward to Civil War... Um, but I mean, it's definitely going to probably be the the funniest movie, the most outrageous, outlandish, ridiculous movie, and po- probably the most fun movie of, of any of the ones coming out next year. I like the part. I cannot wait to see it. <laughs> I like the part where he's in the the flipped over truck and he's talking with his hands yeah. and he's like, "You wonder why my suit is red, it's so the enemies don't see me bleed." <laughs> that guy's got. It, I see pants. that guy wore his brown pants. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, honestly, like I'm right now, I am more excited to see another trailer and more about that movie than any other movie. I want to see the trailer like legitimately, not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Once they actually release it here in a few weeks, I think I saw something saying they were planning on releasing it in like two or three weeks. Ryan Reynolds tweeted, I think, and, and came out and said that, uh, that yeah, that the, the only reason they didn't release it to the general public was because the special effects and those scenes for the trailer are not finished yet, and they didn't want it out there, like, you know, on the internet that Another way. Another thing that they did have finished. with the CGI in there, I liked when they did a close-up of him, his eyes were moving. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, the suit's eyes were moving. That well, they were good. whited out, weren't they? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, his eyes were whited out. Also, so uh, yeah, I, I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be great. What? Well, let's start. Uh, well, I think we just lost Brian. And, oh, oh no, I just froze for a there. Is. there. Yeah, okay. you did. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, he pulled a Chris. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you had a great look on it too. You're like, uh, you're kind of yeah, dead pulled, whited out. Let's uh, let's go down the line. Brian, what do you think? I'll give it an eight. An eight. I said that I was entertained, Leonidas. I was. Okay. What about you, Tover? I'm gonna give it a nine. Um, I thought it was really good. It was it was more than I was expecting, and it really made me take notice and make me want to see this movie even more than I did before, which I didn't think it was possible. But it it can't be a ten because no movie trailer. I'm pretty sure will ever be as good as the one for Star Wars Force Awakens. Oh, yes. Touche. Touche. Mm. Pirate, what do you got? I'm going to give it a 9.5 only because it was a shitty quality that we seen it in and we didn't see it, you know, full frame, HD or nothing. If I would have seen that, I'd give it a 10. But because I had to watch it, a cam version of a trailer, 9.5. I'm giving it a 9.5 also. Um... Fuck me, this this trailer was funny. I was actually laughing out loud while watching the fucking trailer, which is, you know, and I don't get the impression that all the best parts were in the trailer by any stretch of the imagination. And I, God, 
I'm not, like I said, I'm not a Deadpool fan for so so for it to completely convince me that this is going to be an awesome movie and I want to go see it and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I think that speaks volumes of because I've read Deadpool, I've read some Deadpool comics and just didn't really. It was mildly amusing to me, but not enough to like make me want to read a lot of it. So for this movie yeah. to this trailer to go out and and really entertain me as not a Deadpool fan, I think I think that speaks volumes to how funny this movie is going to be. Yeah, it did. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, let's talk Apocalypse trailer. <laughs> let's start with let's start with Topher since he's the X Man expert. See what um, I did there. Uh huh. I like that. That was good. Um, <clears throat> that really wasn't that good. I know. Um, so uh, it was hard to see much in this trailer. Um, it was. It was a. I mean, I, I'm assuming this was just a teaser and not you know not supposed to be a whole lot more than that. But um, it 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 was a pretty crappy quality. It still got me excited about it. Um, it looks pretty decent. Um, I think. I think one thing I'm. I'm I'm still wondering how well they're going to be able to do. This movie's supposed to take place in the in the 80s, and I'm still wondering because, like, if you've seen the the um, the shots of like uh, Jean Grey and and Jubilee, like in their costumes, it's so 80s. It's almost like it's like they just walked onto the set of Saved by the Bell. Like it's it's ridiculous, um, you know. So like. Time out. Reconcil- <laughs> right. Really reconciling, really reconciling. The, no, uh, it's not necessarily bad. I mean, it's very much you know, like in a custom, in accordance with the period. But you know, like it's hard to look back at the '80s right now and not find it somewhat silly, you know. And so, like reconciling the. Oh, the, that is fucking awful. Reconciling the. Um, you know the look of the '80s with the the gravity of Apocalypse is um, is going to be a bit of a challenge, I think. Um, Apocalypse but the, just pissed as Sony Walkman ran out of batteries. Um, you know, so I the, I love the trailer how he just looked kind of completely cool. ignores what you said. <laughs> the, the trailer looked interesting. Um, I don't know. Like I I'm I'm gonna have to watch it again a couple more times. Like they didn't really show a whole lot. Like it. it it was like, oh, cool. There's a trailer, but I, I'm I'm having trouble getting excited or uh, like or anything about it just because like there there wasn't a, a whole lot to it, and it and it was hard to see the uh, the, the clip of it that, that the, I saw anyway. The best part of the trailer that you can make out is at the end when the the it looks like one of the uh, danger room or the um, yeah cerebro the, uh, cerebro's doors open and sitting right there in his wheelchair is um. Professor uh, James McAvoy with his uh, bald head, right? But I mean, I don't want to take away from the movie because it'd probably be great because Apocalypse is like one of the, my favorite villains for the X Men. But you just, I'd probably give it like a semi low rating just because you We're know you can't really see nothing, yet, motherfucker. Well, <laughs> no, I didn't say my number. Wait for it to be. Wait for your turn to be called yeah. upon. But uh. they gave like. Storm the Mohawk and you know Yeah, I like Storm's Mohawk. That was cool. These movies have been good, so with such a giant now they're facing a uh, like a uh, a world threatening bad guy villain that I it'll probably be a good movie. Turn it up a notch, huh? I I didn't like the trailer. I did I didn't find it enjoyable i didn't find it entertaining part of that i'm sure is that the quality like you guys said previously it was not that good um i i don't know like i feel like my opinion is now even more jaded because i looked up what jubilee looks like on set and that is just fucking atrocious to me um and knowing that that is going to be in the movie that really um yeah so I don't know. I just, I couldn't get into it. I just, I mean, I really liked, I really did like the last X-Men movie. I thought it was great. Days of Future Past was awesome. Um, I liked, what was the one before that? Uh, First Class? First Class. I liked that one too. Um, 
I'm sure I'll probably like the film once it comes out in its entirety, but as a trailer, I didn't really like this. I didn't, it didn't, it didn't get me excited to watch the movie at all. At all. So I, I don't know. What What do you think, Pirate? Uh, I'm I'm trying to watch it now. I'm not. I'm seen trying it. to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to watch it right now. Could you shut the fuck up and let me watch it? It's like I didn't do my homework. Um, Honestly, I, I just seen stills of it. So hold on, I'm watching it now. Get, go on to some. Go on to something else. No, we need some inter. Uh oh. I I'd, I'd say we need some intermission music, but our 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 music dun, guy is. Dun it, dun it, dun it, dun it. I, dun, dun it. I, what did you guys think about how Apocalypse looked? I can't see it. You can't. Did they ever really show him? It was. They have a screen capture see. online of the part where you see him. He's standing next to Storm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I again, like the Storm thing. I thought she looked pretty. I thought she looked pretty good. Um, I thought that was a pretty decent representation of the character. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just, for whatever reason, something about the trailer just didn't make me really engage into it and like want to see what happened next. You know, it's, I don't know. Almost like, almost like they were too busy trying to explain the story a little bit. You know what I mean? It was too dialogue heavy and dependent. Whereas, you know, some of the better trailers, like the Deadpool trailer, was a lot more of, you know, kind of the enjoyable moments. So, I don't, I don't know. I yeah, think I would have I mean, been more excited if I would have seen more of an action-packed trailer than, if than you, a dialogue-heavy trailer. If you look at First Class and Days of Future Past, though, they weren't really huge on action. They were more on the the dialogue and the story and the plot than they were on like you know super big action sequences. Like whereas the Avengers movie was pretty much like you know a half an hour straight of battle with you know mostly throwaway dialogue. Most of the X Men movies just like in the comic books, have been more about the characters than necessarily the, you know, the the action scenes. Yeah. Did you finish watching it, Pirate? Uh, I got about 40 seconds left. Jesus Christ. You watching that thing on half the time? Come on. Dan, no dan, Nah, 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 Chris is playing with his pussy. Nah, 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 nah. I seem to have found a cat. Nah, 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 nah. So, nah, 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 nah. I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't even know what else right. to say about it. So, all right. What did you wager first? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what did you, you dropped so the what, ball. What did you think of it, Byron? Huh? I, honestly, since I couldn't hear most of it, you know, in my headset because everybody. Oh, was sure, that's our fault. Oh toys. darn, we were talking uh-huh. on a podcast. <laughs> but it honestly, it looked <laughs> the whole time I was watching it. It looked like it could have been a new Hunger Games trailer. <laughs> 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 that's what I took. Honestly, what I took from it. It looked like it could have been a new Hunger Games. I don't know. All right. Yeah. Katniss turned blue. No, she didn't. That was Not the, in the problem. trailer. She didn't. <laughs> and there was even a scene in the woods, and she was talking about them being hunted. Oh, I do remember that part. I was like, I was like, what is it with X Men movies and them all gathering together for a conclave in the woods? You know, like what? Uh. I was just like, this. Yeah, this could have been a new Hunger Games. I don't know. That's uh, that was what's in a pineapple. All right, let's scene. run down the line. SpongeBob. Brian, what do you rate this that? one? I give it a seven. Seven for now. Yeah. All right. I was still more excited to see that trailer than the other two DC trailers. All right. All right. Uh, Topher. Uh, is this a, a zero to ten or a one to ten it's a, scale? A one to ten scale. Then I'm gonna give it a five point five. Five point five. Okay. Exactly middle of the road because I was neither impressed nor discouraged. I was straight middle of the line. I have pretty much a very neutral reaction. It wasn't bad. It wasn't good. It wasn't. It was a trailer. 
it didn't really tell me anything I didn't know about the movie. It didn't really, it couldn't really see much. Um, there wasn't much in the way to identify all the characters or who the major players were or what the plot was or uh, there just wasn't. There was a trailer. Yeah. Uh, there wasn't. You couldn't really yeah. see it. Like I'm having a hard time describing like what happens in it. Like they show a bunch of people, they show a bunch of scenes. Um, I can't tell you what happens or what's going on. Like, there's not action. There, you know, again, in a movie that doesn't, that, that's going to be more about the character development than the action. Like, you can't just show these dramatic scenes with a, you know, it, it's you know, you don't have the movie voice narrator going, you know, in, in, a, world. in, a, in a world, <laughs> you know, exactly, you know, in a time. So, so if 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 they're not doing that and they're not explaining the story. And there's no action to keep you visually stimulated. You've got the worst of both worlds. You've got the the no dialogue and just watching a bunch of visuals of people not doing anything. So it was a trailer. What about you, Pirate? What do you think about this one? Um, if Katniss Everdeen fights a gray scaled looking Wishmaster, it's a ten. <laughs> If. What about what about if Olivia Munn's in the? Uh, is that what you think Apocalypse looks like? Is a grayscale like wishmaster? Yeah, that's <laughs> looking fantastic. That is probably the most clever thing I have heard come out of your mouth in a fucking. Oh, but if it was an X Men movie, I'm gonna give it a five because I really don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> So it'd be better if it was Katniss Everdeen versus the Wishmaster in grayscale. Yes. <laughs> That's fucking fantastic. That's what it looks like to me. I was like, is it the fucking Wishmaster? Okay, real quick, before I, before I give my rating, we got, we got an on-the-spot uh, fight uh, between Katniss Everdeen and a grayscaled Wishmaster. Pirate you're the grayscaled wishmaster. <laughs> Topher, you're Katniss Everdeen. Tell me how you'd win. Topher, go. Um, um, I don't know. Who the fuck is wish? I've never seen Wishmaster. Like, oh my god, Katniss Everdeen. <laughs> Bring all of District Thirteen into the fight. Yeah, well then I I shoot it with an arrow and Do I. Do you wish for anything? And and I and I. I hold up my little sign and no, it's three it's like, You're not a fucking hippie. Three. Have you ever seen the movie? Yeah, she holds up the three. All right, never mind. You're the not Katniss Everdeen. Three. I don't it's know. Katniss like I was sh- like, I, I wasn't. I couldn't remember if it was. I couldn't remember if it was Boy Scouts or Cub Scouts that you're, she was in. You're fired from the. You're fired from the fight, Brian. You're Katniss Everdeen. And- how would you? How would you beat the grayscaled Wishmaster? Uh, I'd bring <laughs> all of Pan Am down on his gray ass and machine gun him to death and then while he's sitting in a pool of blood going eh, 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 I take my arrow and go boop never happened alright now, because... now for the part I'm really looking forward to pirate explaining <laughs> why he would win as the gray scaled wishmaster because all of district 13 is wishing for fucking food so not I district them, 13 I, would I said give them, Pan Am oh, I, all, all of Pan Am. everybody every district but the capital is wishing for something. So I would just twist their wishes around no. and make them all attack you. You would be attacked by your own flock. Have fun with that, mocking gay. <laughs> <laughs> but I said all of Pan Am. That's the capital, too. No, no, the capital doesn't know. It'd be like, oh, 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 oh. No, there's no numbers in the capital. The capital's nobody. They're nobody without the districts. So yeah, what? districts have... are screwed. They... District yeah, 12 is wishing for food. District 12's wishing, I'm so hungry, I wish I could have one more meal, sir. And then, <laughs> and now it's not Great Britain, too. They would, they would get it. It would be like fucking, it'd be like fucking Tiny Tim and shit, and fucking Charles Dickens books oh, and shit. shit. I gotta give yeah. this one, I gotta give this one to Pirate, just for sheer, like, determination, and, I mean, he got into it. He, he was, yeah. he, he looked like he was about to punch his fucking monitor. Like, yeah, you're not he beating was amped up. Especially in a starving civilization, Wishmaster is going to win every time. <laughs> uh, on to my lot. rating for that trailer, I'm I, I'm giving it a three and a half. Going to ride high on Falgor. Three and a half. The, the apocalypse trailer did nothing for me. It didn't. 
it it did nothing that a, a trailer is supposed to do. It didn't entertain me. It didn't. Uh, Are you not entertained? No. That was my joke from the last I, I movie. I was getting ready to say. Is that, I, I heard that one before. It Brian, I'm pretty sure, said It didn't that. entertain me. It didn't make me feel like I know more about the movie. It didn't really introduce me to any of the characters. Uh, the only thing that I was looking forward to was the trailer being over. Um, <laughs> it doesn't wow. make me want to go see that movie. Like, right but now, as it stands... will not be over soon. But let's be honest, though. That was the worst-looking... <laughs> footage from any stolen no trailer. the fucking deadpool tra- deadpool, the deadpool was pretty was bad awful. i could no, make out the deadpool one was even worse yeah. it, it half of it was off the screen at least the one yeah, i saw like, that is true half, half of it off was the off. screen and like this entire this entire section of the screen was covered with a fucking logo and yeah, I mean, it was. I mean, it yes, was that was. I guess. I mean, let's maybe, be honest. Maybe if it was, I was watching an HD version of the trailer. I might give it a five. Maybe I heard a bunch of people talking like, not, like when I was watching it. I just didn't. I, I I don't think it was good. I don't right right now. I'm sure I will see the movie, and I'm sure I will. Based on previous X Men movies, I'm sure I will enjoy the movie. But the trailer itself blue fucking dicks i i i thought it was terrible i didn't who has a blue dick what other color would his be master maybe a red dick i don't know cat is ever a scale dick. The that would be that would be mephisto uh, so yeah i don't know um real quick before just i mean we're we're right at running out of time but I want to cover one last thing. Um, I didn't get a chance to see it, so it's really just going to be the three of you talking about it, probably. The Walking Dead trailer, did any of you see that, or all of you? I didn't see that. I one. saw it. So only Brian. So, Brian, what did you think of the Walking Dead trailer? You know, all the Walking Dead trailers for each season look awesome until they ha- you actually watch the, the season. those seven episodes that like are just like, Rick, Coral, Daryl, Joan. <laughs> I had not finished last season. I'm like, I was done with that show last season. But what looked really good was the uh, Fear the Walking Dead trailer, which the whole premise of the show takes place like at the be- beginning of the apocalypse. Is that the one with Bruce Campbell in it? No, that's no, Ash. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's a whole different yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> Shun I, I this man. <laughs> Shun him. No, no, no. I, I knew. Boo him! Um, Boo that, him looked, off. that looked fucking awesome. That I trailer. was just I was just reading something before I got on here about uh, or not reading something but looking at pictures and somebody had a picture of of uh, of him at at his booth. So I didn't know. If, uh, whatever. But Fear the Walking Dead takes place at the start of the outbreak. So in the trailer, you get to see a little bit the fall of like everything all society and stuff like that once the zombies start popping up and it looks more terrifying than walking dead and there won't be any coral coral stay in the room coral i just but, i think it's a dumb title i really don't like it yeah, Fear the, the walking cool. dead like like okay a- maybe that title would be decent if a subset of it wasn't already the title of the existing yeah. show like I mean, make the titles Su- sufficiently different. I would have liked Poop get them. on the Walking Dead better. Poop <laughs> on the Walking Dead. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That I is. I uh, Group on of the Walking. I give it a Groupon. five out of tacos. Mm, tacos. Mm, tacos. All right. Well, that's about it for this week's uh, episode. This year's Comic Con special news episode. Um. The trailers of Comic Con. Yeah, yeah, basically that's what it was. The trailers of Comic Con. I'm Fox I'm too. Sure we'll we got enough. Pirate. See you guys. Topher. I had something I was gonna say before, and now I forgot what it was. Looks like Pirate still has the clap. Yeah. And the whole F and Brian. See you guys. <laughs>